Okay folks, so Ray Goodwin again and we're going to have a look at solo sailing, a little sail rig from a canoe and I've done a lot of this over the years across the Irish Sea, uh, south coast of Mull and I'll cut some of that film in so you get to see it in big situations but today it's a nice little breeze to, to learn to do this and we're going to go through all the bits and pieces but anyway come on across let's have a look at the setup in the boat So to make this work, we need to have a mast and I'm going to use my poles which I use for poling, for punting the canoe in shallow water but with this particular sail design that I'm going to be using then they can double up to make the mast and the sort of spritzel or the sprit, the little boom at the top of the rig and they're going to sit through a hole that I've got there in the seat, specialist seat and into the mass foot and I'll provide a link to show how to fit all this stuff. So this particular cell is by Endless River, it's done it in a nice tension pink for me and down one side is a sleeve and I'm going to put one half of the pole into that sleeve. And the end there, come on in, and the end there is padded so it doesn't wear through. But I'll pull that down, and now the sprit that goes at the top is going to hold the sail out. Again, it's got its own little sleeve. that through to the end and that's now giving myself some shape so sailing downwind is fairly straightforward um, I'm going to take me on a good little lick there but I can also go in almost 90 degrees to the wind to go to windward I could actually do with a more efficiently cut sail but this is fairly easy it does most of the things I want so I'm really happy with that so to get the shape the the sheet the piece of rope coming off the sail is going to come backwards so I can actually get the shape on the sail. So I've taken the rope there and then to hold it I've got a choice. I could just put my knee on it, take a turn and put my knee, but by using a clam cleat, a cam cleat which I use in sailing, I can actually hold that piece of rope there. If it's too much that takes it straight out. But that's easy to adjust but the reality is that actually trying to come back through the seat is quite awkward so what I'm going to do is make my life a little bit easier I'm going to take a carabiner and do it on the side and because I've got this cord down the side of the boat I can just put the carabiner in there and then much easier now to go back through the carabiner and then forward to the cleat. So, to run downwind, that's going to be fairly easy. In fact, to be honest, I'll let the sail out more so it fills and pulls me downwind. If I want to go across the wind, I'm going to need to pull this in. So, the problem is now the canoe, if I try to go across the wind, is going to slide sideways, which is why um, dinghies and the like have dagger boards. And what I need to do is create some resistance. And what I can do is take my paddle, slide it down the side and into the water. The water is going to be pressing against this, so there's very little work for me to do. It's going to be held there. 
and if I want to push the front round a little bit I can take the paddle further forward and that will take the, the bow that way. Too much and the sails are not efficient and we begin to lose speed. So going downwind I'm going to stare at the back of the boat. If I want to go across the wind a lot of my steering will be done using the paddle as a, as a board here, as a lead board. Or it can't go down today.
So uh, heading down Tintake, down Bala Lake quite nicely. And uh, the only thing I would add to, to what we've been talking about, that really has been technique. I think the other thing you've got to look at is the seriousness of the situation. There is snow on the mountains at the moment. The water temperature is very low. And although I'm in a dry suit, I don't want to be in this water for very long, I can tell you. My hands will stop working within 10 minutes or so. My arms and legs will become sluggish. So you've got to have a, a system for self-rescue on this. And that's really a subject of a, another video or set of videos, and we'll get round to that. Um, but I'm not going to pop in today just to show you that. Wait for warmer weather. But it is, it is a serious environment. You've got to think about where the wind's going to take you. You've got to think about the consequences of ending up in the water and how you're going to rescue yourself. But it's a lot of fun.